Well, also making the headlines this morning, the CDC is tracking a new line of the COVID-19 virus. According to the lab, it has more than 30 mutations in total. That's much more than any other COVID variant circulating. News on 6 anchor Leanne Taylor has more in this morning's Medical Minute. COVID hospitalizations are beginning to rise up to more than 6,000 a week. For one in every five people who get COVID, the symptoms persist for months, if not years. New research finds that millions of people who tested negative for the virus may actually have long COVID. Brain fog, memory problems, fatigue, anxiety, depression, insomnia, breathing problems, muscle aches, heart issues. The symptoms of long COVID can be life-changing. Can you please touch your nose with this finger? Neurologist Igor Koralnik is part of a team who studied more than 1,800 long COVID patients. More than 90% of patients that we see in the clinic are people who have never been hospitalized with COVID-19 pneumonia. Their study found 83% of patients had abnormal CT chest scans, 51% cognitive impairment, 45% altered lung function, and 12% had an elevated heart rate. Long COVID has become the third leading neurologic disorder in the country. 30 million have been affected. Among previously hospitalized patients, the average age is 54. But among people who had never been hospitalized, who had a mild case of COVID-19 initially, the uh, average age is 44. And surprisingly, long COVID hits women in their 40s who were never hospitalized earlier due to COVID. We think that long COVID is a new autoimmune disease, which is caused by the virus. Women are four times more likely than men to develop autoimmune diseases. Now Dr. Koralnik encourages patients to keep looking for a customized treatment that works for them. Researchers at Northwestern are looking at biomarkers in the blood to see if they hold any answers as to why one person's symptoms linger on while others recover quickly. That's your Saturday Morning Medical Minute. I'm Leanne Taylor. Have a great day.